Okay, here we're going to go through another example of calculating proportions. And if you recall, a proportion is calculated very simply by taking the frequency or the number of times that something happens in your data and dividing it by n, the sample size, right? So it's just the frequency divided by the sample size. And that gives us a number somewhere between 0 and 1, right? If, if the event, whatever the frequency is, never happens, then the proportion will be 0. 0 divided by anything is going to be 0. And if the frequency happens, uh, if this event happens every time, in other words, if we've got n observations, our sample size, n, and for every one of those observations, this frequency, uh, this event happens, then we'll get a proportion that's equal to 1. So proportions range from 0 to 1, and they're created with this simple uh, formula. So to calculate them, we can use uh, an example data set here where I've got the software sales for the last month from a company. And we can see that they've got four different uh, software items that they sell. They have a demo version, which is free. Then they have a basic, an advanced, and an expert level. And they sold 692 units total. So their sample size is 692 uh, in the last month, of which 413 uh, of those sales were demo units and then 124 basic, 51 advanced, and 104 expert. And so what we can do is we'll calculate the uh, proportion for the demo as being um, using our F divided by N formula. It's 413, that's the frequency for the demo version, divided by 692 which is our sample size, and we get a proportion that is equal to uh, 0.597. Okay, and so this gives us our proportion here of 0.597. Okay, so over half here on our scale from 0 to 1, uh, over half of our uh, software items that were sold are the demo version. Now we can do the proportion for the basic, and that is going to be 124 divided by 692, and that will give us a proportion that's equal to 0.179, and we can add this to our table, 0.179. We can do the same thing with the advanced and we find that this proportion is 51 divided by 692 which is equal to 0 0.074 and then finally with the expert we calculate a proportion of sales that's 104 divided by 692 and that proportion is 0 0.150. Okay, so 0 0.150. And again, as a nice double check, because proportions range in value from 0 to 1, if we calculate the proportions for each category in this variable, software items sold, uh, and then add up those proportions, they should add up to a value of 1.0. And if we add them up, you will find that they do add up to 1.0. And so that's a nice double check on our work. If this proportion doesn't add up to 1, then there's probably something wrong. Now, working with proportions uh, is fine. Um, they make sense. You know, all proportions range between 0 and 1, and if you add up all the proportions across a variable and a data set, they'll sum to 1. Uh, but People and humans don't tend to think in terms of proportions all that often. Um, we tend to think easier or more easily in terms of percentages. And a percentage is really, uh, if you think about a proportion as being a special type of ratio, a percentage is really just a special type of rate where we could take a frequency, divide it by the sample size, and then multiply it by 100. And so we're placing this uh, 
these events in terms of 100s, uh, and that's our rate per 100. Um, but we just think of it as a percentage, and they range in value from 0 to 100%. Again, if, if our event or our frequency happens, you know, uh, if we, for every observation in our sample size, then the percentage will be 100%, right? Because we'll have essentially n divided by n, and then that'll be a 1 and multiply it by 100. Um, and so we can create a, a percentage from a proportion very easily um, simply by moving our decimal place over two points and that gives us it's the same effect as multiplying by a hundred and so we can calculate our percentages here as 59.7 percent of our units sold were the demo version so almost 60 percent and then if we move the decimal place over here we see that 17.9 percent uh, of our units sold were the basic version and we can do the same thing with the advanced and that was 7.4 percent of sales and then we've got 15 percent for the expert version and when you add these up they'll add up to 100 percent again this is a nice little double check just like proportions when you add them up they should add to 100 percent and so we can see now that uh, over half of our sales, almost 60% were the demo version. This was our little free version that we give away, so well, it makes sense that about 60% of the units that were taken out of our store were the, the freebies. Uh, but then when it comes to sales, we can see that the advanced version of our software doesn't sell quite as much. We had less than 10% of the units sold were of the advanced version, 7.4%. Uh, and that the basic and the expert units made up 17.9% uh, of the units sold for the basic and 15% uh, for the expert version. And so this is an example of uh, taking some frequencies, calculating the proportions, and then turning those proportions into percentages.